love to all soul birds worldwide. I am India Ari, and and I'm at my house. This is my studio. Ta-da! <laughs> um, the last video I was somewhere like on the beach, and today I'm at home. It feels good to be here. And I am making this video because I am happy to announce that Songversation I Am Light Part 4, Healing, is out. It's in your inbox. And the reason why I'm so excited about it is because throughout this Songversation, the prologue, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3, I've been giving you a lot of backstory and inside story and inside information. And some of it got a little bit heavy for some people in Part 3. And it had to go there, though, because it was true. It's my truth. And so now what I'm excited about with part four is that I am able to begin talking about the whole reason why I wanted to do these essays at all, and that is healing. And to share my spiritual philosophies and to share how I've healed from things over the years in hopes that you'll just get something from it that will help you heal from something and to help you grow and to help you get into your own spiritual philosophies and to have your own spiritual awakening. And so in part four, I talk about not just my spiritual philosophies, but also something that I haven't said anywhere else at all. And that is what I call embodiment. So but you have to read the essays to really know what I'm talking about. I didn't even share that on Super Soul Sunday. I didn't feel like it was the right time. I didn't have the right words, but it took me a long time to find the right words for all of this. And so I am, I'm happy about it and I'm excited for you to read it. And I am also excited for you to read part five, The Sober Manifesto. So that will be coming next. And really, again, I've said this already, but part four and part five are the whole reason why I wanted to write these essays at all. And so getting into this part is juicy and it's making me excited. And so after you read these essays, they are, they are excuse me, part four is cut into two parts. I'm so excited I'm talking fast. Part four is cut into two parts. And so when you see it in your inbox, make sure you have both parts and make sure you read both parts. And um, email me because I want to hear from you. As I keep saying, Songversation is a two-way dialogue. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. If you've been following these essays because the fact that you are on the other end of the, the words I'm writing has been my impetus to get the words right. So thank you because I've learned a lot about myself through this process a lot about myself through this process and the exploratory process of writing and knowing that someone will be there to read it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Part four is there. Email me, iamlight at soulbird.com and, and I'll see you again for part five. And so as always, a songversation has a song. And so I chose this song because I love it because I hear it everywhere and I always think I'd like to sing that. And I especially chose it because I saw this young man at the Stevie Wonder concert, the one we did on NBC. Um, and I got a chance to chat with him. He's just so kind and gentle. And he told me that he saw me on television when he was 16 and that there was something in my performance that was really important for him. And that made me happy. And so, this is for you all. And this is to say that Ed Sheeran, I see you too. And, and here it is. <laughs> hmm. Your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off your feet 
Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Honey, I'll be loving you till we're 70. And honey, my heart will still fall as hard as 23. <laughs> Thinking out loud, people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just the touch of a hand, yeah. Me, I fall in love with you every single day. And I just want to tell you I am And baby now Take me into your loving arms Love me under the light of a thousand stars Put your head on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud Talking about we found love right where we are. We found love right where we are.